Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I am in Penang, Malaysia, right in Georgetown, and I am sitting down to eat a an outrageously delicious looking feast here at a restaurant called uh, Restaurant Tajuddin Hussein, uh, which specializes in nasi kandar. One of the most popular foods in Penang and actually throughout Malaysia is called nasi kandar. And that nasi means rice and kandar is actually the, from what I've read, is the pole that you carry things on, kind of like a carrying basket. And so nasi kandar actually means rice uh, with the carrying basket. Uh, but this type of food, in reality, it refers to Indian style Malaysian food. And it got its name because uh, previously in the history of Malaysia, um, many Indians would carry the food um, on the poles and deliver them to various houses or businesses and that's how the name came about. Nasi Kandar is originally from Penang in Malaysia and so there are many many restaurants, many famous restaurants to eat Nasi Kandar in the city uh, but I've chosen to eat here at Tajuddin Hussein and this restaurant is um, another legendary Nasi Kandar restaurant I walked past this restaurant yesterday at about noon and it was just overflowing with people eating here and so we came back today a little bit early it's about it's just after 11 um, and it's already busy but I know like in an hour it's gonna be packed you can either get plain white rice or biryani rice I got the biryani rice and it looks um, nice and yellow oh they even included some pineapple some pineapple and some cucumber and some kind of sauce down there and I can see maybe some fried shallots in there as well this is gonna be the base of my meal. Something I can never resist ordering is mutton curry. Oh, that is a, a whole chunk of mutton, no bone. And then that, just look at the, oh, and just look at the richness and like thickness of that curry sauce. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna put some of that mutton onto my, my rice to get started. And let me actually, yeah, let me just start with that actually. Oh. oh, that is, that's unbelievably good. That mutton is tender, um, but it actually tastes pretty lean. And then that curry sauce, wow. It is, it is actually a little bit spicy just incredibly creamy and rich and just packed full of spice. Okay, next this dish is called ayam rose, which is another curry, a chicken curry, and let me try to this one is looking a little bit on the oily side, but that color and that thickness and that spice. Let me see if I can Let me see if it's possible to break off a Oh, I think from this side will be better. The curry sauce is so is so colorful. It's hard to navigate this piece of chicken and where the bones are. <laughs> okay, that should be good. I'll put this whole thing onto my, onto my rice. I think there's still some bones in it, but I'll have to work around that. Okay. Oh, that's still hot and fresh. That is a little bit spicy, um, and it almost has a a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. The spices are not quite as sharp as the mutton curry, um, but it's, it is spicy. Uh, maybe like a dry, it almost has a dry chili flavor to it as well. Okay, and then finally, uh, this is a squid curry. Oh, and I can see, uh, oh, that is a curry leaf. Oh, yes. Put the squid onto my plate. I thought it was going to be a real challenge to cut the to cut the pieces of squid with my fingers, but it just breaks apart. Oh, that's amazing! Put that curry leaf on there. That squid is extremely tender. Um, it's like chicken, but a little bit chewier. That's marvelous. And then that sauce is almost very similar to the mutton sauce. It's rich and creamy and, and just spicious, um, but I can definitely taste the, the addition of the curry leaves in there. This is some kind of vegetable, which I'm not sure what it is. I'll put this onto my rice. And then also I got a bowl of dal. And this is almost like, this is a very soupy, soupy dal. Oh. And I got that 
and I got that squid in that bite as well, the squid, the squid head. Everything is just outstanding here. Oh, that vegetable just sort of disintegrates in your mouth. What happened was the restaurant got really busy and I was looking over at other tables and seeing dish different dishes that they ordered and I could not resist trying some more dishes. So this one is the mutton korma and is a piece of mutton but as you can see this, this curry is much different looking. It's like creamy and milky whereas the other one was more of a red, red color. I guess one of the good things about this restaurant, they serve them kind of in little bowls so you can try a lot of different things. This food is just so incredibly good. I can't even, I can't even hardly believe it. Oh, that is hot. That is just freshly cooked. Oh, 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 the flavor of the curry is not nearly as strong. Um, it just tastes sort of like, like a, like a stroganoff. That's what it tastes like. It's just like a, a creamy, rich sauce, but with not a lot of spice in it. A refill on the vegetables as well, as well as Ying really likes the the chicken bros, the ayam bros. So we got another one of those as well. Meal accomplished. I'm gonna go wash my fingers. That was probably the best meal of nasi kandar that I have ever had in my life. I am just, I, I actually can barely speak right now. It's one of those meals where the food was so good that I can barely even like gather my thoughts to explain just how good the flavors were, the atmosphere, the service, the and just the taste of the food. I am, I'm stuttering right now. But all I can tell you as, is that this nasi kandar is winning. And this is an amazing restaurant to eat at in Penang, right in Georgetown. Incredible nasi kandar. As I'm finishing our meal, the restaurant is now just packed out. I think people are waiting to sit down. Uh, so as much as I would like to like sleep here and take a nap and then wake up for another meal, I think we are gonna head out. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and I hope you love Nasi Kandar as much as I do and I'll see you on the next video.